Hello mates, I am Kiran Zadav here. In this session, I will teach you Spring Boot with custom validation. See, the best example of custom validation here. Suppose end user, they are not giving the appropriate input. Then we are going to validate it by using our Java application. Then see, for email perspective, we are using email, address email. For contact number, we require the 10 digit. Then we are giving range as min max. Size example here, I am giving password. Suppose we are restricting like at least four character, then definitely we are going to size. Then we have options available, not blank, not null, not empty. The all we'll see in our practical session. Now we'll start with the practical session here. Simply come up with the Spring. Uh, you can simply come up with the Chrome browser and type the Spring Initializer. And here we'll create the Spring Boot application. The project has Maven. The latest version we are using 3.4.1. The language has Java. The best package I am giving here com dot full stack. Now simply give the application name, application name I am giving here, Spring Boot Custom Validation. Now refactor the base package, packaging as jar, Java version 17. Adding dependencies here, dev tool for live overload. Next we are adding Lumbok, it will help us to reduce the boilerplate code. Next we are adding Spring Web itself inbuilt, Tomcat server available. Next we require the data, JPA for persistence layer. We are adding here, MySQL for database perspective and the important dependency we are adding here validation this is bin validation with the hibernate validator see here we are using data jpa but you know data jpa internal implementation they are using hibernate it is an rm tool now simply click on generate see within minute production ready application will be available there now we'll copy the application and paste in our particular folder simply right click there and go ahead with the extract once application is extracted successfully, then we'll copy the path of our application and then coming to IntelliJ IDEA. Simply come up with the file, new project from existing sources and here we are giving the path of our application. See, here if it's not coming, then we need to select it from our directory. For that perspective, I am just checking here directory as a, I already created here directory. Then you can simply like right click and then do the refresh it will come now simply select here and this is maven project then trust project with i want to open in new window once it open then coming to src main resources and here we are creating the ml file simply right click on resources new file and the ml file name we are giving application.ml and once file is created then we'll add the database configuration content within that ML file. Either you can use the properties file, otherwise you can simply use the ML file as well. Now once it's done, then coming to next, pom.xml file, and here we are adding the Swagger UI dependency. The dependency, I will add it from my local system. In your case, you can simply copy it from our GitHub project. Then the dependency version, we are using here 2.7.0. Then simply come up with the Maven and do the build project, MUN clean space install. Then meanwhile, we'll come up with the our base package com.fullstack, right click on that new package, the package name, I'm giving here model package. Now coming to next package as the package name, I'm giving here repository. New package, we are creating the package name as, you can simply say validation package. Now coming to next package as service package. We require the one more package as controller package. Again coming to model package, we are creating new Java. This is our Pojo class. Now coming to repository. In that we are creating new Java interface. The interface name as employee repository. In service. We are creating the new implementation class, employee service, IMPL. Now coming to validation. Here we are creating new Java class as custom validator. A validation, whatever you want. Now coming to controller, new Java class. We are giving here employee controller. And see, our build also success. Then simply come up with the 
Maven and just reload the project. Now we'll start with the development of our application here. Coming to employee.java, annotate with here at rate data. Next, we are using all our constructor. Next, no our constructor. We are using here entity. We are using here table as well. And the table name we are giving as employee. And as per our business requirement, we are going to use those variables. ID it means primary key. General value it means it will be at all increment. I am giving starter as a identity. This will be private. In EMP have ID we are adding. The next private string. This will be EMP have name. Now we are adding private string EMP have address. This will be private. We are using long EMP have contact number. As for business requirement, you can add number of fields here. The next we are adding here private. This will be string EMP have gender. Private string EMP have email ID. Then private string EMP have password. We are going to add here. You can add UID, you can add PAN card number, whatever you want. Okay. Then EMP name, we are adding here validation as not blank. Not blank, it means it not null and not empty. The message you can simply say employee name should not be should not be should not be null or empty. Now coming to next, next is employee have address. Then address we are giving not null. You can simply add the message here. Simply say employee address should not be null. Now next is contact number. We are adding here range and this will be we are passing min and max. Uh, here we require the 10 digit contact number. That's why I'm adding here 1 and 0 9 times. Then comma separated we are giving here max range as well and 9 it will be 10 times. Ending with you can simply add the L and here you can give the message as well and simply say contact number must be 10 digit. Now coming to next employee gender for gender perspective we are giving not empty and simply give the message employee gender should not be empty and the next one is email id here we are passing email and here directly give the message as email id must be valid and the password at least we required here size we are passing here 4 character then you can simply give the min and we are giving the value as 4 and here you can give the message as employee password should be at least 4 characters in such a way, we have just added the here bin validations. Now coming to employer repository, annotate put at the rate repo and here you can simply use extends. This is JP repository. We are passing Pojo class name as employee and the wrapper class itself integer. Now coming to next is employee service IMPL, annotate put at the rate service. In your case, you can create the interface. There will be abstract method and the implementation class. You can simply implement this method. Now we are using address auto wired here, and this will be private employee repository. Employee repository. Here, time being, I am just going to create only one method, sign up method. Public employee, and the method we are giving sign up. We are passing here employee. Now simply use return. This will be employee repo 
dot save method available in build there you can simply use the save method passing the entity as employee now coming to next is custom validator class annotate with add rate controller advice this is global validations we are handling here the annotation we are using add rate controller advice this is class level annotation extends response entity exception handler this is the class we are going to extend here here we are using inheritance concept you can simply say now we requires to override the method handle method argument not valid yes this method we have override here now i will create here map reference map is the key value pair both we are passing string string and here you can simply say this is this will be error equal to new i am using here linked hash map i hope you are aware of the linked hash map in core java upcoming sessions i will take care of those core java sessions as well then linked hash map follow the insertion order that's why i am choosing here then here we have available method argument not valid exception the reference is ex we are using here ex dot get binding you can simply say get binding result dot get all errors dot for each we are iterating here then here we are using lambda expression as well and string i am passing here this will be field equal to the class we are using here field error then you can simply give this is object error dot get field now next is string this will be field message we are giving whatever error message equal to this object error dot get default message and now simply use here errors dot put this is map we have available put method and key is a field and the value is field whatever error message coming there now you can simply use return this will be new response entity and we are passing here errors and comma separated you can give the http status as bad request bad request the status code itself 400 it means end user giving the wrong input there actually as a request payload this way we done with our custom validator class as well then here we use annotation as controller advice we extend the class as response entity exception handler and we override the method as handle method argument not valid here we use the inheritance concept as well now coming to next and this is the last layer controller layer annotate with add rest controller at request mapping the base uri i am passing here forward slash as employees now we are adding here add rate auto by it simply mention private this will be employee service impl we have available employee service now we are writing the api for sign up this will be public response entity type it will be our employee and simply give the function method name as sign up we require here request body for our employee entity this data coming from our swagger ui and one more thing here we are using address valid annotation this is mandatory annotation here otherwise your validation not goes to work then here we are just going to call return this will be new response entity and here we are passing employee service dot sign up this call goes to our service layer and http status we are expecting here created it means 201 we are expecting control a alt control l this is the key shortcut key to format the code base now we have done with the coding we are just going to start our application simply start the spring boot application here once it up and running then definitely we are going to test by using swagger ui see we are just waiting to see it goes to up and running the port number by default it goes to just 8080 see now we are just waiting to see the port number it goes to work on 8080 port number yes application is started and the port number is 8080 now we'll come up with the chrome browser and simply type here localhost give the 
लाइक कोलन एट जीरो एट जीरो फॉरवर्ड स्लैश स्वागर है पन यू आई एंड देन यू कैन गुड दी डॉट एस टी मेल इट सेल्फ अदरवाइज इंजेक्स फॉरवर्ड स्लैश अगेन इंजेक्स डॉट एस टी मेल नाउ सिंपली ट्राई इट आउट सी हियर इट गिव अस द इशू बिकॉज नाउ वी आर फेसिंग सम इशूज विद द लम्बोक हियर फॉर अल्टरनेट सोल्यूशन आई एम गिविंग हियर फॉर लम्बोक एज वेल यू कैन सिंपली एट द प्लग इन इन टू यूर पॉम टू टेक्ज एमल फाइल द लेटेस्ट वर्जन स्प्रिंग बुट इट गिव अस द इशू मे बी वन यूर यू आर गोइंग टू यूज द इंटेलिज टीम दे विल रिसोल्व दिस इशू एज वेल बट नाउ वी हैव वर्क अराउंड अवेलेबल हियर यू कैन सिंपली रिप्लेस दिस प्लग इन विद द वाट एवर आई एम एडिंग हियर द प्लग इन्स यू कैन सिंपली कॉपी फ्रॉम अवर गिट अफ एप्लीकेशन गिट अ प्रोजेक्ट इट सेल्फ नाउ वाट एवर यू आर डूइंग द चेंजेस इन पॉम डॉट एक्जेम एल फाइल यू कैन सिंपली गो हेड एंड बिल्ड इट बायजिंग एम वी एन प्लीन स्पेस इंस्टॉल वंस बिल्ड इज सक्सेस देन वील सिंपली गो हेड एंड रिलोड दवर प्रोजेक्ट If you don't want to add these plugins, you can simply use the manual getter setters. Your application goes to work as expected. See now we are expecting our build goes to success, and once build is success, then we'll reload the our project, and then again we'll start our application. See we are just waiting to see the build success message. Yes, here is our build is success. Simply reload the project, and once it reload is done, then simply start the our application. See here is option available. Start the application as well, and once application up and running, then you can simply go ahead and hit the swagger UI. See here we are again coming back to here, and just we are trying to hit the swagger UI. Refresh it. Okay, it will take some time to run our application. Yeah, it's it's working, and here. You are able to see the existing lag schema as well there, right? The ID is auto increment. I am not going to pass the ID here. I am passing name as Swara Jadhav. Then here email I am just passing Swara. Then address I am adding here. This is PCMC India. Then contact number we are giving nine eight nine eight nine eight. Just I am removing one uh, digit from there. It's nine digit now. gender we are giving here female and password we are giving here for a address 123 here we are expecting two validations first one is employee contact number must be valid and the second one is a employee email id must be valid contact number it must be 10 digit we are expecting right yeah see we got the two validations here email id must be valid and contact number must be 10 digit now sorry we are just going to pass here again 10 digit contact number now we are expecting only one validation email id must be valid here is it now i am passing here sora at the rate full stack java developer dot in now simply try to execute it will insert that into database same i will try to insert one more record here then here we are passing password just i am passing here kk see Here I am giving Kiran, and this will be mail candidate we are giving here, and the contact number, yeah, yeah. Now we are good to go. Now we are expecting password should be at least four character. See one screen. Employee password should be at least four character. Now I am passing here four character. It goes to work. Second data also inserted, and the same data available in our database as well. You can simply use it. And then go ahead with this list are from employee. See two records are available within our database, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it in this session. Then if you are facing any difficulties, feel free to add your errors in comments box. I will be happy to help you here. And thanks for watching this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe this channel to get more updates. And see you in next video.